the screen. Psalm 99, reading from the New Living Translation. Hallelujah. It's a good day to praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Psalm 99, the Lord is king. Let the nations tremble. He sits on his throne between the cherubim. Let the whole earth quake. The Lord sits in majesty in Jerusalem, exalted above all the nations. Let them praise your great and awesome name. Your name is holy. Mighty King, lover of justice, you have established fairness. You have acted with justice and righteousness throughout Israel. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow low before his feet, for he is holy. Moses and Aaron were among his priests. Samuel also called in his name. They cried to the Lord for help, and he answered them. He spoke to Israel from the pillar of cloud, and they followed the laws and decrees he gave them. O Lord our God, you answered them. You were a forgiving God to them, but you punished them when they went wrong. Exalt the Lord our God, and worship at his holy mountain in Jerusalem, for the Lord our God is holy. Amen? We, we serve a powerful and awesome God. He is the mighty king. Let's just pray. We worship you today, Lord. We thank you, God, for all that you have done, for all that you are doing, and all that you continue to do. And today, God, we come before you. We lay everything down at your feet, Lord God. We forget everything else that's going on around us, Lord, in our lives, in the world. And we just 
just impossible with you, Lord God. Thank you that you are always there, Lord God, fighting our battles. Bless your holy name.
the universe is the same God that we worship today. He is powerful, He is mighty, He is unchanging, always faithful from beginning to end. The Alpha, the Omega, everything in between, He never changes. He never changes. He's the one constant in this world. Amen. Hallelujah. And we can depend on Him. You can trust Him. You can sing through the night because you have Him. Never changes. It's the same. It's the same God. The same God. I'm calling on the God of Jacob, whose love endures through generations. I know that you will.
You never change, you stay the same. Jehovah Jireh then, Jehovah Jireh now. You are the same God, you are the same God. Jehovah Rapha then, Jehovah Rapha now. You are the same God, you are the same God. God Emmanuel, the same God. Forsaking us, you never change, you stay the same. Jesus, our firm foundation, Jesus, you're our firm foundation, the rock of ages. You never change, God, you stay the same, God, you stay the same, God. God is amazing. He's bigger than our words could ever express or our songs could ever express. There are over a thousand names of God in the Bible because it's impossible to describe Him with just one name. He is the same God yesterday, today, forevermore. And of all His creation, you are most precious to Him. Amen? Your names are written on the palm of His hands. So there is nothing to fear in His presence. He is the same God who parted the Red Sea. He is the same God who tore down the walls of Jericho. Hallelujah. He is the same God who overtook an army with Gideon and 300 men. He is the same God. The same God who David worshipped on the mountaintop in the tabernacle. The same God. The same God, hallelujah, the same God who did signs and wonders in the New Testament, who made the blind to see, the deaf to hear, the lame to walk, and the dead to rise again. It's the same God. The same God lives today. The same God we worship today. Hallelujah. He never changes. And he's on your side, church. He's on your side. No matter what you've done, no matter what you've gone through or the mistakes you've made, He's on our side. He's on your side and His arms are always wide open to welcome you. You are welcome in His arms. He is the same God. He's the same Abba Father. Hallelujah. The same fortress and strong tower where you can find safety. He is the same God.
Hallelujah. Once again, let's give God a clap of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Lord. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we want to thank you and praise you. For you're the God who never changed. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever, O Lord. And thank you, Lord, that you are all powerful. You are a caring God. You are a loving God. You never leaves us nor forsakes us. You always assures us with your presence, O Lord. And thank you that you are our shield, our comfort, our provider. Thank you so much, Lord, that we may be able to dwell in your presence, O God, anytime. So we gather in this place, O God. This is the day that you have made for us that we will rejoice once again. We offer to you the worship and praise that you only deserve, O oh God. And thank you for each one that are here today and for those who join us online, O oh God. Thank you, Lord, that we may be able to connect with, with each other, O oh Lord, as we connect with your presence today. Father God, thank you so much for your word that are holy and true. And thank you so much, O oh Lord, that you are the God who proves true through your word, O oh God. This is the same word that put convictions in our heart, O oh Lord, that leads us to repentance. And this is the same word that we are looking at this wonderful morning. As your servant, I surrender my life to you. Use me, O oh God, to speak out your word today. And all God's people say, Amen. Last Sunday, it's talk about we, we, our conversation is all about uh, the grace of God. And, and, and we all know that the scripture, the Bible that you have right now, it is what we call the Holy Bible, okay? Because that is a word from the Lord. From the beginning, as we all agree that from the beginning, when God created human being, God gave His instructions to mankind. And that is the command of God. And that is the word of God. And that is the holy command of God. And I believe God expecting human being to respond, to obey whatever command that God has given to mankind. And we all know the story in, in, in the book of Genesis, uh, chapter 3, that, that mankind disobeyed the command of God. And that creates the separation between God and human being. And then human being was vanished to the Garden of Eden, okay? Garden of Eden because of their sinful art, because of their disobedience to the Word of God. Ever since from the beginning, from the beginning until now, the Holy Scripture of God, that is what we call holy because that is the Word of God and it is really a holy command of God. And some other thought, it, it, it becomes, that is the law of God. And in the Old Testament, it becomes the, 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 the law of Moses. But overall, that is the Word of God. That is the command of God towards the people on how they could continue to live in this dark world. But even though from the beginning that mankind committed sin against God, the very presence of God did not withdraw from human being. He always uses people like Moses, Abraham, to lead the people. He only talked to these people that he, 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 he appointed to lead and to guide these people through His Word. That means to say, brothers and sisters, from the beginning, from the Old Testament, there is a veil. Okay? Anyone cannot enter, communicate with the presence of the Lord. Only one person who could, who could, uh, who could fellowship, who could talk, who could, who could enter the holy place of God. Okay? So even people will touch the represent, representative of the very presence of God, like the Ark of the Covenant of God. They all died when they touched them because it is sacred, because it is holy, the same with the Word of God. Now, the Word of God, brothers and sisters, because it is holy compared to the human being, which is a very 
sinful human being like you and me, okay? If you compare it to the holy word of God, it really reveals our sinful nature. And because we are not righteous like God, we are not able to, to obey the command of God. And that is the reason why it's so hard for human beings to realign their life, to obey the scripture, to obey the word of God. Because the command of God is righteous and holy. And we as people, as we trying hard to obey them, as we trying hard to live with them, at the end of the day, it really proves that we are nothing and we are sinful people. Amen? And because of the great love of God, He solved that problem through His Son, Jesus Christ, brothers and sisters. He made a way. So He sent His Son, Jesus Christ. He died for the penalty of our sins. And there is a requirement. When God paid for the penalty of our sins, He tore the veil. So that any human being could fellowship, could communicate as long as they believe and they trust Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior over their life. And you will know when a person surrendered his life to the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ, brothers and sisters, because everything, his past life, he surrendered everything to the Lord and this person walking in the holy command or in the holy scripture of God. Because we know that he is not, he is living in his own with his life, but it is the Holy Spirit walking with him. He allowed Jesus Christ to become the Lord and Savior. And then Jesus promised that there is the Holy Spirit, the greatest counselor, all-powerful, that lives in you. And that is the reason why you will know when a person is in Christ, the old life has gone and the new has come. Mona mo ingon imong neighbor or silingan or your best friend. You know what? You are really a, a, a different person today compared to the past. Because your life today is a surrendered life. Taking, uh, let the Holy Spirit taking full control over your life. And this is the reason why you have now the power, you have now the courage that the Holy Scripture will become realized in your life. Amen? That is what we call, we are living now on the grace. There are other people, they, they discriminated the Old Testament because that is under the law. And right now, under grace. No, the law never changed. The Holy Scripture of God never changed. It is the people who always change. Even though at times in their life, when they surrender their life to the Lord, there is a tendency that human being, because of their sinful nature, they always go back from their old ways of life. And that's the reason why it really proves that the Holy Scripture is really a Holy Scripture. It's so hard to, to, to obey. It's so hard to live with the Holy Scripture. That is why Jesus one time said in John chapter 15 that we are all nothing without Him. He is the vine and we are the branches. The only way that we may be able to produce fruit, that we may be able to live a righteous life, that we may be able that our fruit will flourish, brothers and sisters, just simply, we need to continue to stay connected to the vine so that we may be able to have a strength, to have a desire to fulfill the command of God in us, brothers and sisters. One time Jesus said, I am here because, because He is the fulfillment of the law. This means to say, it is not us, but it is Jesus. Okay? And He said at the cross that it is finished because He already paid everything. Now, God has sent this, the Holy Spirit to guide us and lead us. Now, it is our choice if we allow God to redirect our path, brothers and sisters, so that 
the command of God, the Holy Scripture will become realized in our lives. Because or else it's so hard to obey the Holy Scripture of God. Muna ako, I always disagree. Nga mo ingon ang mga tao nga, you know what, because we are under grace, total, bayran na mas ginotanan, okay lang ta, we need to think about the grace of God. No. That's foolishness. For me, this is our participation, brothers and sisters. God make everything so easy because you don't have, you, we, we don't have any resources, brothers and sisters, that we could offer to the Lord. In the Old Testament, you need to have a person to become a big time so that you could offer anything to the Lord just simply to reconcile yourself to the very presence of God. And we don't have money. We don't have any resources to could offer to the Lord. And, and, and God knows that, you know what, I don't want people maglisod lisod ani. That is the reason why He expresses His loving kindness to us through His Son, Jesus Christ, to make everything so easy. And that's so easy, sometimes we, we harden our heart, we harden our thought, and we make that easy so hard that for us, that we will not allow Jesus Christ to work with us, we will not allow the Holy Spirit to guide us and lead us in the path of righteousness, brothers and sisters. And then we need to think this way, oh, you know what, because we are under grace, we are all safe already. No, for me, it's not the one. Because when you allow Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior of your life, both hands up and let Jesus Christ live with you, guide you, He'll become what? The driver. When He is the driver, whatever obstacles on your way, brothers and sisters, because sometimes... The, the Holy Scripture of God, it becomes obstacle to us because it's so hard for us to, to obey them. And, 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 and because our driver is the only person who are capable and powerful to obey all what He given to mankind, brothers and sisters, either, either it is the command of God because He is the driver, we may able to fulfill them because He is the fulfillment. Amen? Sakay, sakay lang ka. Wherever he goes, wherever where God leads you to go, you just follow so that you may be able to live in a righteous path. The only path that becomes righteous, brothers and sisters, if that path is in the Scripture, is in the Word of God, brothers and sisters, because the Word of God is holy and righteous. Amen? So, when Jesus Christ become our driver, we may be able to overcome any challenges of life, even in the forms of, 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 of problems, brothers and sisters, because the, uh, the God that we are serving, nothing is so difficult for Him. He is all-powerful, brothers and sisters, and this is the reason why we need to completely surrender to the Lord, because, or else, there's a tendency that human being, because you enjoy the ride, and sometimes you may, you may ask favor from the Lord, can I drive? And then you will go, you, you will stay at the back. And you know what? Uh, there is a tendency, kaya usahin nga na human being, suway. Una mo yung mga sakyanan, kung imuha mga anak, medyo muol na gamay, gusto na sila na po yung mudrive. Nya, may tabo, mga bangga. Why? Because he is not a professional. The only professional that could be able to, to guide us, to make us, to become our drivers in this dark world, brothers and sisters, only God. That is why someone must surrender his life to the Lord. Amen? Amen. So our conversation today, Sin's advantage to the law. Why, why is sin's advantage to the law? Because the scripture is holy and righteous. A person who has not surrendered, who has not acknowledged the very presence of God in his life, okay? Ang sala, ang power sa sin, 
Murag excited kaya ni because he knows the capacity and capability of mankind that he is not able to fulfill the word of God, the law of God. And that is the reason why when someone who rely with his own strength and understanding try to try to live the scripture with his, with his own strength and with his own uh, intellect, brothers and sisters, it will always end up fail to fulfill the word of God in his life. And that's the reason why sin advantage, uh, sin's advantage to the law, to the scripture. Kay kibaw man nga ang tao, makasasala magiging ang tao. So what is the problem now? This is the reason why I'd like to encourage each one. You know what? So that the sin cannot take advantage of the scripture because the scripture is holy and righteous. We need God in this life. If we have God in this life, brothers and sisters, we can fulfill that, already fulfill the law, and that is our Lord Jesus Christ, brothers and sisters. We will enjoy the fulfillment of the law when you have Jesus Christ in your life. And that is why the Apostle Paul tells us in Romans chapter 7, verse 7, look at this one, the nature of human being, brothers and sisters. Well then, Am I suggesting that the law of God is sinful? He asked this question. Am I suggesting that the law of God is sinful? Of course not. In fact, it was the law that showed me my sin. It's like a mirror, brothers and sisters. The word of God is like a mirror. When you see the word of God, it really reflects that you are a sinful man. It really reflects that you have problem with your life. You have problem deep within your heart. You have struggle in this life, in this thought, brothers and sisters, when you read the scripture. Because the, the, the scripture is God's breath. Amen? Amen? And it is useful to correct, to expose, to guide, and to lead, brothers and sisters. And this is the reason why the Apostle Paul tells us, of course not, in fact, it was the law that showed me my sin. I would never have known that coveting is wrong if the law had not said, you must not covet. If there is no instructions from the, from, from the Lord that covetousness is a sin, I never knew. That what I am doing right now is already a sin or a sinful act. And then he continued, but sin used this command to arouse all kinds of covetous desires with me. If there were no law, sin would not have that power. Yeah, we are serving a righteous God. We are serving a holy God and it requires righteousness. It requires holy. And the only way, brothers and sisters, that we may be able to stay connected to the Lord, brothers and sisters, it really need a righteous person for us to reconnect once again to our fellowship with God. And God solved that problem. He sent His Son, Jesus Christ. It is Jesus Christ, our mediator, brothers and sisters. It is Jesus Christ who allows us to reconnect once again to our fellowship with God, brothers and sisters. And God did not give us halfway. Like the apostles, or like the, 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 the disciples and the followers of Jesus Christ, when Jesus Christ ascended to heaven, they were so worried because when, when, when Jesus died, because, because what we can do now? No more Jesus, but Jesus assures them that there is one who will come and that is more greater and powerful and that is the Holy Spirit. And that is the work of the Holy Spirit right now to guide us, leads us, and empowers us, brothers and sisters, so that we may able to leave the law, to, to leave the command of God, 
to 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 live in the in 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 the in the directions of God, brothers and sisters, in the righteous path. But if we try to insist that we're living our own, brothers, it's so hard for us to live in the righteous path because of our sinful nature. Even though Jesus paid for the penalty of our sins, He sacrificed all the sacrifices, He carried all the loads and the burdens of this world, brothers and sisters. But there is still that needs to overcome, that is in us, that God has already given to us, and that is the power to choose, brothers and sisters. Something that God cannot take that away from you, brothers and sisters. At the end of the day, it is your choice. God gives us this freedom. God gives us this way. God gives us this easy way for us. Our eyes will be open, brothers and sisters. And then that is your choice. Either you follow them, either you obey Him or not. That is your choice. And sometimes in our life, brothers and sisters, God uses people to put the convictions in our heart through the Holy Scripture, through the law of God, brothers and sisters, that leads us to, 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 to repentance. And that, that's the reason why at times in our life we surrender our all to the Lord. We're crying out to the Lord and we want to serve God, brothers and sisters. And we cannot sustain them because at times in our life, even though we're so on fire, because we choose not to, to stay connected to the Word of God, not to stay connected to the presence of the Lord. That's the reason why we are not able to leave the Scripture. We are not able to leave the Word of God. At times in our life, because we feel so weak, and the devil like a lion, a roaring lion. Nita timing. That for you to be failed, brothers and sisters. Because the devil, the enemy, is so powerful as well. He also had a strong discernment when he looked at each and every one of us. He knows that we are so weak and he knows that we cannot touch him because of his devotion. Because he was so on fire with his walk with God. And I know that he is there. Try to put something in your eyes, in your ears, brothers and sisters, to redirect your path. Because he is a deceiver. He is a deceiver. And at times in our life, we won't pray, we will not read the Bible, we will not commune with the holy presence of God. That's the time. We feel unguarded. And that's the time He will give it to us. A very beautiful picture that we may be able to be deceived, brothers and sisters. And it really proves at the end of the day that the Scripture of God is really a holy Scripture. And that is what we call the Holy Bible, brothers and sisters. Amen? mo nang lisod kayo kaysa man na imo i-blame man na imo i-blame ang ang yawa sige panindal no there's no one else but you because that is your choice it's always end up your choice so what choices that you made brothers and sisters it reflects resulted the consequences that you have if you choose to follow God, if you choose to strengthen your walk with God, if you choose to let God be the drivers of your life, your consequences was really a feeling good, brothers and sisters. It's really an overwhelming. Something that you can say at the end of the day, Lord, I'm not deserving to experience this kind of experience, brothers and sisters. But if you choose the other way, because you feel bored with your walk with God, you feel Karang jealous about other people like friends who always busy, uh, busy for themselves to glorify themselves or something like that. And then you need to follow these directions. At the end of the day, it really proves that man was so weak and God was so strong and His word is holy and righteous. You cannot twist 
the word of God. That is why Paul said, but sin, use these commands, arouse all kinds of covetous desires with me. If there, there's no law, sin would not have that power. In verse 9 to 10, at one time, I live without understanding the law. But when I learned the command not to covet, for instance, the power of sin came to life and I died. So I discovered that the law's command, which were supposed to bring life, brought spiritual death instead. What is the, the, the intention that why God gave His command towards the people? That brings life, brothers and sisters. From the beginning, He don't want Adam and Eve to touch that tree, the knowledge, the good and the evil, brothers and sisters, the tree of life. Because God knows that if we touch them, it will bring death to them, brothers and sisters. Because our God, He only not know about our present. He also knows about the future. What will happen in the future, brothers and sisters. That's the God that we are serving. He is really a reliable God, brothers and sisters. Amen? Reliable, gets you. a young word, a very present, as a person, brothers and sisters. Okay? So that's why, he said this, so I discovered that the law's command which were supposed to bring life brought spiritual death instead. Because the enemy tried to deceive Adam and Eve. You know what? You will not die. But it will open your eyes, brothers, brothers and sisters. You know what? The enemy tried to hit the pride of mankind. And because of our pride, we are so prideful. Living on our own. We try to tend to live with our own brothers and sisters because of our experiences, because of our knowledge, because of our expertise, brothers and sisters, because of our positions of life. Sometimes, God uses people, a very normal people, try to guide you, to lead you. Sometimes, it's hard for us to listen to them because of that power. The pride, brothers and sisters. At the end of the day, ngaot na putas ulo kay sayup na put. Men, so in verse eleven to twelve, sin took advantage of those commands and deceived me. It used the commands to kill me, but still the law itself is holy, and its commands are holy and right and good. So you cannot blame. The Holy Scripture. You cannot blame the laws of God, brothers and sisters, because it is righteous. It is holy. It is powerful. And it really reveals in this conversation that man was so weak. Okay? We are nothing without God. If you reveal, if you read the Scripture, it's so hard for us to obey them, brothers and sisters, without having Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior of your life. Without the Holy Spirit who guides us, empowers us, to do the to, 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 to follow and obey the scripture, but we are all nothing, brothers and sisters. And that is why the word of Jesus Christ really proves true that He is the vine and we are the branches. We are all nothing, brothers and sisters, apart from Him. If we try to detach ourselves from our devotion, from our walk with our Lord Jesus Christ, we are all nothing. As hard as we can to live in this world, try to impress yourself, try to impress other people that you are good according to the, according to the Scripture. You're trying hard, but you will struggle deep within your heart because it's so hard, brothers and sisters. And then we, cannot, we, we, we don't have enough strength to continue in this journey. Because there is a tendency when we do good, brothers and sisters, and then people will not notice it, sometimes we'll get discouraged. Because people will not appreciate of what you are doing. And that is the reason why, because of that, makasala na po tas ginoo. But you know what? When you surrender your life to the Lord, when the, when the Holy Spirit empowers us and guides us in the path of righteousness so that we may be able to live in the Scripture, brothers and sisters, either people will appreciate us or not, either people will see us or not doing the Holy Scripture, brothers and sisters, 
ang importante kayo that God at the end of the day will done and good faithful servant brothers and sisters you don't have to show to the people that you are good you don't have to show to the people that you are so kind brothers and sisters just simply continuously live in the scripture with the power of the holy spirit brothers and sisters when you do that brothers and sisters the light of Christ will shine before men and it really proves it really proves when people people that sees that the Holy Scripture is living in you, brothers and sisters. Okay, maski unsa ang pagkag-away, maski unsa pa yung mong gigutro sa mong kinabuhi, people will notice and see the peace and the excitement deep within your heart, brothers and sisters, that you are confident not on, not, not, that, that is not found in you alone, but your confidence is in God alone. Amen? Amen? This is something that you could enjoy, brothers and sisters. But still, the law itself is holy and its commands are holy and right and good. In verse 13, but how can that be? Did the law which is good cause my death? Of course not. Sin used what was good to bring about my condemnation to death. So we can see how terrible sin really is. It uses God's good command for its own evil purposes. Look at the power of sin, brothers and sisters. The scripture described in this passage, brothers and sisters, that the sin, the power of sin that is within us, take advantage. He uses to take advantage that the more you face the truth of God's word, brothers and sisters, he tried to deceive you. He tried to, to, to destroy your focus, your heart, your thought, brothers and sisters, that, that, that following the Scripture is so hard. It's so hard. And then because of your pride, because of your intellect, because of your sinful being, brothers and sisters, and many times we agree with the, the spirit of the sinful Oh, 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 of the sin, brothers and sisters, sometimes we, we have been deceived and listen to them and that we're not able to overcome those obstacles and challenges of life, brothers and sisters. At the end of the day, again and again, we're so worried and we're so down because we know, we acknowledge that we committed sin against God once again. And some other people, you don't have to say to feel sorry about God because our God is a gracious God. No. Kabaga ni Mugnao. Kamaayos gino. Sa iyang kamaayo o niya magbutbuot kag imuha niya karun pagkasala ni mo. You'll not feel sorry. Of all the sacrifices that He gave, of all the sacrifices that He done, niya murag okay lang sa imuha nga murag makasala ka. Bagag naong, di ba? Tanawin mong tupad kung baga bag naong. Kung siya ang naong, baga ba? So we can see how terrible sin really is. It's just his God's command, his own evil purposes. And look at this one in verse 14. So, the trouble is not with the law. The problem is not with the law. The problem is not the scripture. The problem is not the word of God, brothers and sisters. For it is spiritual and good. Something that brings good in us, brothers and sisters. The trouble is with me, for I am all too human a slave to sin, brothers and sisters. Look at the, the acknowledgement of Paul, brothers and sisters. The trouble is with me. Why he needs to blame himself, brothers and sisters? You know what? Because that is his choice. Because he acknowledges that he has this power to choose, brothers and sisters. That is why wherever he goes in his ministry, he always proclaims the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ that people will repent from their sins. And that is the choice. Some other people will not repent. Some other people will disregard the message of truth of God. And that is their choice, brothers and sisters. Now, at the end of the day, who could blame them? You cannot blame anyone, but blame yourself like the Apostle Paul. The trouble is with me. Because this is my choice. For I am all too human a slave to sin. 
Brothers and sisters, so what will happen now in verse 15 to 17? I don't really understand myself for I want to do what is right. Saying, Anamana, relying with our own strength, understanding. We have this thought that I want to do what is right, but I don't do it. This is another chance that God has given to me. We all experience that, brothers and sisters. And starting today, I want to do it right. But the more when I do it right, brothers and sisters, I don't do it. I do the other way. Instead, I do what I hate. But if I know what, what I'm doing is wrong, this shows that I agree that the law is good. Amen? Maayo giday ang law. So I am not the one doing wrong. It is sin living in me that does it. Brothers and sisters, you have to acknowledge that, that there is sin. That does it. That is why we need to believe Jesus Christ because He is the only one who has the power to destroy sin that we have been struggling deep within our lives, brothers and sisters. Jesus already conquered death, brothers and sisters. An overwhelming power of sin, brothers and sisters. And the only way that we may able to experience what Jesus has already done, brothers and sisters, just simply we need to believe. This is not a person who believes, brothers and sisters, he follow all his instructions and his steps, brothers and sisters. This is not a kind of, oh, oh yeah, I believe. And then, what is, your, what is your participation? It really needs our participation, brothers and sisters. In that moment, you believe. This is what Jesus did for you and me, brothers and sisters. Then when you surrender your life to the Lord, let the Holy Scripture guide you and lead you through the power of the Holy Spirit, brothers and sisters. Leave. Make a decision that, yes, I agree that my life before is like this. Now, through the power of the Holy Spirit, I renounce that that is all broken. That is all destroyed. Because I am living right now with Jesus Christ. When we are living with Jesus Christ, brothers and sisters, this is not a 360 turn around. Huh? 360, balik ka. 180 lang. Talikod yun sa imuang kinabuhi. As long as we live, we cannot perfect, brothers and sisters. I still have committed sin against God. And I believe, I don't know if you are too wise and smart enough to, 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 to agree with your heart and your spirit that you still committed sin against God. I don't know if you will agree with me like me that I need Jesus Christ the more in my life. I don't know if you agree with your spirit right now that you agree with me that you need also Jesus Christ the more. Because this life is so hard. The Word of God, the Scripture is righteous. It really reveals me my wickedness. I'm sh the, 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 how, how, how I weak I am. But the only way that it becomes reality sa ako ang life is I need Jesus Christ the more in my life. When the apostles gather together in the upper room, brothers and sisters, when they sing worship and praise to the Lord, Using with the Holy Scripture, brothers and sisters, what Jesus had promised them, they are filled, all of them, they are filled by the Holy Spirit. Since then, wherever they go, brothers and sisters, never in the Scripture that mentioned that Peter went back again from his old life. Twice that he tried to go back in his old life, twice also he got rebuked from our Lord Jesus Christ. Do you love me, Peter? Yes, Lord, I love you. Do you love me more than this? Can you give me a That you will become a fisher of men. Why? 
because of because because the relationship has not been developed the faith has not been developed brothers and sisters because of lack of understanding about Jesus Christ okay that's why because of the worries and the concerns of this world how could i survive right now how could i how could i survive the, my, my, my family right now so i can, I, I need to go back to my old nature many times when Peter received that rebuke from our Lord Jesus Christ, that time he lived his past life and served God until death. Never in the scripture that, 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 that reminds us that once again, Peter, go back once again, that time. Even the Apostle Paul, when he encountered Jesus Christ going to the road to Damascus, brothers and sisters, His lifestyle is he all persecuted all the believers and the Christians. But when he encountered Jesus Christ like you and me, brothers and sisters, he never turned back from his old life. He never allowed that pressures of life, circumstances, or even persecution will redirect his path, brothers and sisters, no matter what happened, as long as I live I will continue to serve God. I will not let circumstances to determine my path. But I will serve the Lord no matter what happened. And that is the life of the Apostle Paul, brothers and sisters, who write in this scripture. That is his experience. And that's why I don't really understand myself. For I want to do what is right, but I do not do it. Instead, I do what I hate. But if I know what, what I'm doing is wrong... This shows that I agree that the law is good, so I am not the one doing wrong. It is sin living in me that does it, brothers and sisters. So, in verse 18, And I know that nothing good lives in me that is in my sinful nature. I want to do what is right, but I can't. He gives us a picture, a person without God. You cannot perform. You cannot obey. You cannot live in the righteous path, brothers and sisters. That's why I want to do what is good, but I don't. I don't want to do what is wrong, but I do it anyway. Baligyud. Mabaligyud ang kinabuhi. Ganahan ko magbinutan, pero di di ko mabuutan. Di ko ganahan magbinuang, pero... Mabuhat yun ako ang pagbinuang. But if I do what I don't want to do, I am not really the one doing wrong. It is sin living in me that does it, brothers and sisters. Si Apostle Paul na ni. He acknowledged that there is another power try to destroy the kingdom of God in his life, brothers and sisters. Do you consider, do you acknowledge that there is power, another power that try to destroy what God has installed in your life, brothers and sisters? If we, we won't acknowledge that, that is why sa ikumpiyan sa kita. We try to live in our own. Usahay, kapoy na kay basa Bible. Usahay, kapoy na kay ampo. It's so hard for us to continue. And you lose, when you lose your zeal, with your devotion to God, that is the time you put your life in danger. Put your life in danger. That is why, if you have nothing to do, you pray for the people. pastor, And then go out and then preach the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ anywhere in the community. pastor. finances mga Pwede man ka mag-evangelize. Ang imong resources lang yung padala. Sakto, dili. Uh, pastor, padungdungog na po rin. Padungdungog eh. Kaya kita tanan, kita wag ta, magsangyaw sa pulong skino. If you don't have time to preach the gospel of Christ, then support those people who go out to have a lot of time to reach out and, 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 and share the gospel of Christ, brothers and sisters. Because at the end of the day, you'll be held accountable to our God. Amen? So, 
In verse 21 to 23, I have discovered this principle of life now. Na discover na niya. That when I want to do what is right, I inevitably do what is wrong. I love God's law with all my heart, but there is another power within me that is at war with my mind. This power makes me a slave to the sin that is still with me. Complete surrender, good kinanglan, brothers and sisters. Amen? So, oh, what a miserable person I am. Tanawin mo tupad, again, kung miserable ba nga pagkatao. Who will free me from this life that is dominated by sins and death? He asked the question. Who? Who will free me from this life that is dominated by sin and death? What na ilain pa? Thank God, the answer is in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. If this is the case, the Apostle Paul tells us, you know what? If this is the case, I try hard to do what is right, but I do it wrong. When, we, when, when I try to avoid the wrongdoings, the more I do it. So if this is the case, so many pag And then he found the soul. To, to the, the answer of his problem, but thank God the answer is in Christ Jesus our Lord. This is why I'm talking about, brothers and sisters. Jesus, with the purpose of his coming, he was so determined of his call, of his purpose. He knows that it's so hard in his prayer. In Gethsemane, brothers and sisters, his sweat is a form of blood because he knows that this is so hard. And sometimes, uh, 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 in, in his prayer, he had the conversation with his father, Father, if possible, take away this cup from me. Because as human as he is at that very moment of time, this is so hard. But at the end of the day, he said, but not my will, let your will be done. When that moment he received the peace, the confidence that he needed at that very moment, brothers and sisters, when he was so captured, even though the, 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 the people tried to, to mock him, whatever the cause, brothers and sisters, the excitement, the peace, the confidence that he is, that, that is within him, brothers and sisters, was there. When he asked the question, he still had a focus, brothers and sisters, in fulfilling the will of the Father. He don't allow that kind of circumstances not to fulfill the will of the Father, brothers and sisters. And that is why the Apostle Paul was so inspired by our Lord Jesus Christ. Many times he, he, he experienced shipwreck. Many times he has been persecuted. Many times he's been in prison. Many times has been even to the point of death, brothers and sisters, but never, the Apostle Paul never gave up. He tried to encourage the believer for those people has, has, has been encouraged them to receive Jesus Christ, the, 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 the ministry, the churches, wherever he go. He always write a letter to encourage them to continue, okay? to continue with their joy of service for the Lord. The, the, let, let the kindness be revealed in this time of circumstances, in this time of, uh, in this time of trouble, so that the light of Christ will shine upon them, brothers and sisters. The Apostle Paul tells the churches, always rejoice. I say it again, rejoice. Why? Because he knows that they have all the reason to rejoice because they serve a victorious God. And that is the God that we are serving as well in this church. Thank God, the Apostle Paul said, thank God that the answer is in Christ our Lord. So you see how it is. In my mind, I really want to obey God's law. But because of my sinful nature, I am a slave to sin. And because of our Lord Jesus Christ, now you can say, I am no longer a slave to sin. Amen? I'm no longer a slave to sin. 
So in the book of Colossians, brothers and sisters, chapter 2, verse 6. And now, because of that, and now, just as you accepted Christ Jesus as your Lord, you must continue to follow Him. Again and again, it's a matter of choice. With the Apostle Paul, you must continue. It is your choice. Either you will continue or not. Okay? Now, makaingon ba ka nga? Kanay mo obedience? That's part of your participation, brothers and sisters. God make everything so easy. He empowers you with the Holy Spirit, brothers and sisters. Now, it's your choice right now. If you will continue to live in the righteous life or not, if you continue to listen to His voice or not, or listen to the other way. But the Scripture assures us that the shepherd or the, the, the sheep recognize the voice to the shepherd. And the only way you may be able to recognize the voice of your shepherd, brothers and sisters, is when the more you spend time with the shepherd. The question that I'd like to ask, what kind of shepherd that you spend more time of your life? Is he the shepherd that we are serving in this room today? Or is he the shepherd the other way? That destroy all your time. That they get all your time. That make you busy, brothers and sisters. And this is the reason why when you hear this voice, it's easy for you to follow without recognizing that this is the other voice. But when you invest so much time with the real shepherd that we are serving in this church, brothers and sisters, and that is our God, the more you spend time with Him, the more you will recognize His voice. And the more you will recognize His voice, it is easy for us that we may be able to overcome whatever challenges, that we may be able to live in the path of righteousness. Which path of righteousness? Which is following the Scripture in our life. It becomes more easy with our Lord Jesus Christ. And now, just as you accepted Christ Jesus as your Lord, you must continue to follow Him. And the last, let your roots grow down into Him. Can you imagine? Let your roots go deep down. The only way that it could deep, deep down, brothers and sisters, if we continue to spend time, a lot of time with Him, brothers and sisters, so that and let your lives be built on Him, then your faith will grow strong in the truth, you will thought, and you will overflow with thanksgiving. Amen? Your neighbors will tell you or your friends will tell you, you know what, I know that this person has a lot of problems and concerns of life. But you know what, I see the joy and the happiness why this person was so excited. Something that they could not relate. Because they know that your faith in God deep, rooted deep within brothers and sisters. That your joy and happiness in your service for the Lord and your faith for God, brothers and sisters, will not determine for the circumstances that you are experiencing, brothers and sisters. And that is what will happen if we continue to dig deep in the Scripture, to dig deep, spending time with the presence of the Lord, with the power of the Holy Spirit, brothers and sisters. Even though the Scripture is holy and it's so hard, brothers and sisters, with our participation, we choose, we choose not to go on our own way, but we choose to surrender our life to the Lord. We choose to surrender our all to, 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 to our God and let the Holy Spirit will guide us and lead us in the path of righteousness so that the laws of God, the Holy Bible and the Holy Scripture will become more easy because not, 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 not because of you, But because of the Holy Spirit. Amen? And this is the reason why we need to... <laughs> Problem, we need to surrender our life to the Lord. 
I know we already surrender our life to the Lord, but you could consider yourself, Lord, I want more of you. I want more time with you. I want to increase this passion, my, 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 my desires for you, Lord. Holy Spirit, right now, captivate their heart, O Lord. That their old life was gone, the new has come, O Lord. I pray that you empower them wherever they are right now, O God. Either here in this place or for those who join us online. Holy Spirit, fill them with your power and your anointing, O God. That their life will never be the same. Whatever struggles, problem, or whatever that embandages them, Lord, O God. I pray that you break every chain right now. Set these, your people, free in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And continue to let your light so shine upon them, O Lord. I pray for breakthroughs, O God, for each one. Breakthroughs from their thoughts, from their heart, on how they live their lives, O God. Breakthroughs, O God, will, sh will, will shower upon them, O Lord. Even breakthroughs financially, O God, so that they may become a blessing to someone else, O Lord. Father God, we want to thank you and praise you, O God, for everything. We give you back all the glory, the honor, and the praise. And all God's people say, Amen.